so today I'm here with a really exciting video. If you guys remember back in June, I worked with Fortune Cookie Soap and I did an unboxing and a giveaway with their Summer Soap Box, which is their like quarterly subscription service. It's a soap box and I think it's so, so cool. And I just recently got an opportunity to work with them again. I was contacted to do an unboxing and giveaway again, but this time for their Halloween box. And their Halloween box is actually not their fall box. They did have a fall box, but the Halloween one was sort of like a surprise. And of course I was like absolutely I love the people at Fortune Cookie Soap. They like their entire company just means so much to me. They're so sweet to me. Um, I just love them. So of course I was like absolutely. So this is going to be an unboxing slash giveaway of the Halloween soap box, just like before. If you guys are not interested to see what's in the box, you just want to enter the giveaway because I know a lot of people are like that. I don't really mind. I will have a link down below. You do not need to comment and say anything. You don't need to say enter me. It, it doesn't work like that. There will be a raffle copter widget linked down below. Before you go there, there are two rules. You must be subscribed to my channel because I am hosting this giveaway as is Fortune Cookie Soap. And you must be 18 years or older or have your parent or guardian's permission to give out your address if you do win. So the link down below will be the raffle copter widget you just scroll down the page you can either log in with Facebook or put your email in and I believe you get six total entries I'm not too sure how long this giveaway is running for I don't think we talked about it but I'm sure it's maybe like a week maybe even a little bit longer probably just a week so make sure to get all your entries in they'll choose the winner it'll go like that so if you want to just enter the giveaway you don't care to see what's in the box that's down below but as far as the information on the box I have an email that I'm going to read off to you it says that the boxes go back on sale this Saturday, September 29th for pre-order at noon central time. In the States, they are $19.99. In Canada, they are $28, and then they're $34 for overseas, and that just includes shipping. That's all of it, including shipping. Um, and then the boxes ship out on October 1st, which is so, so exciting. So I finally got my box today. It is open, but I didn't actually open it, if you know what I'm saying. Like, it's open, and the card's out, but... Everything, if I can get this right, is still wrapped up pretty nicely. So this is what the card looks like. It is so freaking cute. It says, Welcome to the FCS Halloween Soapbox, and it looks so creepy and awesome. And then on the back, it just has a list of the product names, which you all know I love to read, so I'm keeping this out. But this is what, oh, well, never mind. The first thing on it that it comes with is the... Discount code to receive a $10 off discount on a future order, which is awesome. There's only one code allowed per transaction, so basically you can just use your code, I'm not going to obviously show you mine, and go to fortunecookiesoap.com or go to their store, which actually just opened in Oklahoma, which is like so surreal. If I could, I would go to that store in a heartbeat and just die because I'm sure it's gorgeous in there. Um, but you can redeem this gift code and basically get $10 off your future order, so I'm definitely going to use this. I have a few ideas of anniversary presents to get for Brian, and I actually did already get him some sort of something that is sort of like this, not saying anything, but um, I think I might get him a few things because I think Fortune Cookie Soap is adorable. So that's, it comes in every single box, so you get a $10 off code, which is so nice. And then this is what it looks like. I, I told you, I haven't unwrapped it yet. This is all new to me, and it looks like this. It's black tissue paper and it says the soap box with a sticker on it. So we are just going to dig in. Oh my god. Okay, this ah, this is so cute. Okay, they actually have like little Oh god, what the heck? <laughs> little spider webs in here. That is so cute. They have little spider webs. Oh, that's oh my gosh, and they have candy too. Oh, it's really is Halloween. Candies and uh, spider webs. That is so cute. I love the little personal touches they do. Um, just a quick side note. In the summer soapbox, they included a seashell. Like, that was just so cute. I miss the beach. Let's not talk about the beach. Okay, so um, this is what it looks like. Minus the candy and um, sweet tarts. Or no, candy and uh, spider webs. That's what it looks like. I don't want to spill anything. I'm just going to get right in. So the first thing in here is a hydrate me oh my gosh I loved my last hydrate me and this one is in ghost gum and on the card it says in the shape of a skull and smells like a 50 50 orange cream bar so let's open oh this is so cute oh this is so cute oh that really that smells like a popsicle oh my gosh like I typically hate anything oranges like orange creamsicles anything but this smells divine this is so good can i touch it is it weird 
Oh, it's creamy. I don't want to touch it. Okay, so I'm not going to pull it out to show you, but I am going to close up show you if I can do this. So this is the Hydrate Me in Ghost Gum. It's shaped like a skull. Is this not the cutest thing you've ever seen? I love Halloween. I do. Oh, this is so cute. Okay, I'm using this tonight. I want to smell like a creamsicle. Okay, uh, next thing. I'm digging in. The next thing is this bath melt. Who's screaming? Next thing is this bath melt, and it's called Headless Horseman. That is so cute. Um, and then on the card, it says Headless Horseman Bath Melt um, in the shape of a pumpkin. and smells like a tropical pumpkin blend. All right. Oh, this is... Whoa. That smells really good. Oh, God. It's spilling. Oh. Okay, like, it really smells like pumpkin, like it does, but it also has that, like, tang to it, like it's describing, the tropical pumpkin blend. It smells like pumpkin, but there's something else. I can't, I can't describe scents to save my life, but, oh, this smells so good. Okay, so this is what this looks like. So this is the Headless Horseman Bath Mel. Is this not so cute? You know, I really don't understand my neighbors. I don't know why they scream at each other. I mean, they're sitting... See? A foot next to each other, but they think it's okay to yell. Whatever. I'm not filming. It's whatever. Thanks. Okay, the next thing in here is one of my favorite products. Um, it's one of their whipped creams, which is a really thick body lotion. It's it's just phenomenal. I use the... Um, well, actually, I didn't finish the last one. I actually still have a little bit of it left because it lasts forever. This little tub will last you forever. And this is in the scent Gremlins, Goblins, and Ghouls. Oh, my. Oh, that is so cute. And then on the card, it just says, smells like great candy. So that's very direct and to the point, but I want to smell this. Oh, it's like really purple. Oh my gosh. I wasn't expecting that. This legit smells like sweet tarts, like grape sweet tarts. Like one of those big, like, I'm getting that like sour tone in my throat. Like, you know when you're about to eat something sour? I'm getting that. Um, when you get those like big sweet tarts, not the little ones, but like the big ones, this smells like a grape one. This smells phenomenal. I, I love this. I want to smell like this. Oh my god. Can they make this in like a body spray? This smells so good. So this is the Whipped Cream and Gremlins, Goblins, and Ghouls. Oh my. Oh, it's so precious. That just smells so good. If I could smell, I think this might possibly, out of the three things that I've smelled so far, be my absolute favorite. I'm putting this in my little favorite section. Okay. Alright, the next thing in here is from Sensory Overload. Is that right? Yeah, this is from Sensory Overload. It says a guest product sample from Sensory Overload and smells like pumpkin slash rum. And it's called Smashed Pumpkin and it's a wax tart. So what I'm guessing is I, my mom sells Sensi, not Sensory Overload. It's two very different things. But basically it burns like a Sensi wax. So I could put it in my warmer, but I haven't smelled it yet clearly. So I need to smell it first. And it really smells like pumpkin. I mean, I honestly can't smell rum in this just because I, I don't drink. I don't, I don't know what rum really smells like. But I do smell the pumpkin. It smells really good. I probably will burn this. Um, it looks like this, in case you're curious. It's just wax. You would probably just break off bits and pieces of it. Um, but I will burn this because it smells fabulous. Just don't tell my mom. She might kill me because it's not scentsy. But uh, that smells really, really good. Alright, the next thing in here is one of their OCD hand sanitizers. This is like a bigger size. Oh my god, there's a spider in here. Oh my god, that scared me. I was like turning it and it like touched my finger. It like grazed my finger. No. Anyway, this oh, this hand sanitizer I, I feel is a lot bigger than the last one they sent. Well, for me it was the summer one, but oh my god, there's a spider. I don't like that. That's creepy. Um, it's in the scent Scary Spice. Okay. Um, it's called Scary Spice OCD, a mouth-watering blend of pumpkin, apple, and caramel. Amen. Call me in. Pumpkin, apple, and caramel. Favorite scents right there. Let's smell this. I don't want the spider to touch me. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness gracious. This smells so <laughs> phenomenal. I always get it in my nose. 
Oh, I can smell the apple and caramel more than I can the pumpkin. And then the next thing that's in here that's in a little vampire blood, which is like a blackened red color, perfect for the Halloween time. And it says vampire blood body wash in a freakish black cherry fragrance. All right, let's smell you. I've never smelled, do I know what black cherry smells like? Probably not. Whoa, this smells like cherry Coke. This smells like cherry Coke. I want to smell like cherry Coke. Oh my God, this is so good. I really like this. Okay, this is another one of my favorites. This is getting put in a favorites. This smells really good too. Oh, I really like that. That's delicious. Okay, the next thing in here, I'm telling you, there's so much stuff in here. I love this. Is this little candy. This is cute, and I don't know what it is because it doesn't have a name on it. So I'm going to guess that it is a bath fizzy. That's what it is. It's a bath fizzy. Let's open this sucker up. Oh, oh, geez. Yeah, this is definitely the bath fizzy. Okay, so this is the bath fizzy. It's just like a whitish color. It looks really cute and it smells delicious. This smells divine. What is this? This smells like a Jolly Rancher. Zombie Treats Bath Fizzy, a bath fizzy that glows in the freaking dark. Um, hello, I'm in. And smells like a legit Jolly Rancher candy. It really does. This smells so good. I wish we had like smell a tube right now and you could just like sniff it because, oh my god. This smells so good. I might actually buy this for Brian because he would love this. He loves Jolly Ranchers, I think. I'm pretty sure he does. Oh, that smells so good. Alright, definitely another favorite right here. That's so good. My mom would love that. Oh my gosh, that's delicious. The next thing in here is this little baggie. It says, Witch's Wart Be Gone Clay Mask. Um, on the card it just says, Clay Mask. Very clever. I'm just kidding. Um, combine dry mask with your choice of liquid activator in a small glass bowl. Depending on what type of activator you, you, you choose, it should be a medium paste consistency. Apply a thin layer to cleanse face, leaving on your skin approximately 15 minutes or until dry. Use a warm, damp washcloth to gently remove and paint pat dry. Listed below are some possible liquid activator options. Use one tablespoon only. And then it has normal skin, dry skin combination, oily, acne, things like that. That's really cool. It's like black though. I'd be terrified to put this on my face. That's really awesome. I really like this. I think that's a really cool idea. I'm not going to open it or anything. And then the last thing in here is the reason I'm in love with fortune cookie soap and the reason they are called fortune cookie soap is because it is a disgusting fortune cookie soap. I'm just kidding. This is huge. Oh my goodness. This is bigger than I rem remembered. This is called the Grave Digger Fortune Cookie Soap. A fortune cookie soap that smells like freshly dug earth. You're joking. Are you kidding me? This is, that's, that's a lie. It probably smells like Fruit Loops. Ew, I don't even want to touch it. It looks gross. Okay, if, uh, I'm going to bring it out, but I'm just saying, like, right now, picture in your head one of those, like, little cups that they used to give you, like, in elementary school filled with, they called it, like, worms and dirt and stuff, and it was, like, crushed up Oreos and, like, pudding and... Um, gummy worms, that's what this looks like. Only more realistic. Um, okay, I don't want to make a mess. This is like the messiest thing. Okay. Ah! I'm not going to smell it yet, but this is what it looks like. It's like dirty. Like, it's gross. It kind of looks like a donut. <laughs> like, I don't know. I love this. This is, oh, it's spilling on me. Okay, it looks like dirt. It's gross. Anyway, I'm going to smell it. Are we ready? Freshly dug earth, you better smell like Fruit Loops, please. <laughs> Oh my god, it smells like, it smells like dirt. It smells like dirt. Who would bathe with this? This smells like dirt. It really smells like a garden, like it smells like you're gardening on a hot summer day. I'm not too sure if I would really bathe with that or not, but I'm going to try to. Um, oh, my phone keeps going off. But my um, fortune cookies, or my fortune, my fortune says freedom of speech is wonderful, right up there with the freedom not to listen. Holla. This is it for my Halloween soap box from Fortune Cookie Soap. Um, yet again, I, I am in love with Fortune Cookie Soap. You will definitely get a purchase from me, especially with my little $10 off card. Um, oh, there's so many things that I want to buy. I just need to get paid. Like, come on, paycheck now, because I want so much of this stuff. Um, this, is, this is phenomenal. I honestly believe this is probably... Um, my favorite compared to the summer soap box, although I loved the summer soap box. Um, I can't wait for my mom to get home and smell all this stuff. This is lovely. Yet again, my favorite products, if you want to recap, are the Zombie Treats Bath Fizzy, the 
Gremlins, Goblins, and Ghouls Oh My Whipped Cream. I have to take this to North Carolina so Brian can smell that. And of course, the Body Wash and Vampire Blood. This smells phenomenal. I'm actually probably going to put this in my bathtub tonight because it's so delicious. Um, so yet again, that's it. I loved everything. Make sure if you want to win a, one of these boxes to um, go to the widget, the Rafflecopter link down below and enter all of your information. You can do it six times, I believe. Phenomenal again, Fortune Cookie Soap. You've blown me away. Um... I have to take a trip to Oklahoma. This stuff is just gorgeous. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.